Finally trying the bowl method for styling my wavy hair for the first time. I'm combing out my hair after I've washed and the it. The first product that I'm going to use is a curl cream. This one is by Cantu. It's the natural hair curl enhancing cream. And I just put that everywhere. And just combing it through. Then I am gathering my hair and I'm dunking it into my KitchenAid stand mixer bowl. And I am letting the water just kind of drip out. And squeezing the water out. And dipping it about four times. You can already see the water is getting full of product, which is helping to distribute it all through my hair. And look at these clumps so far. I am getting excited about it here because the clumps are starting to look really good, better than any brush styling I've done. So I'm just going to, like I said, here's a different shot where I'm just dipping dipping and scrunching. It looks like I have a bald spot. That's just because of the way I combed my hair. Hopefully I don't have a bald spot back there. But anyway, I do this about four times and really just getting that water out in between. Shake it out a little bit and then I'm going to go in with some gel. This is my favorite gel. It's from Curl Keeper. It's the original styler and I'm just slathering that through. I'm not going to dunk after this. I'm just kind of scrunching that in and letting those curl clumps really just get formed and getting out some excess water then i'm taking these are from curl keeper these are microfiber gloves they're great for removing the excess water without causing frizz you can use what you have but i'm just getting out any excess water that is still remaining to help speed drying time you don't want to use a regular towel because a regular towel is just going to cause frizz this is with a microfiber towel if you have one lying around and this is just doing it with a t-shirt so again you can just use a microfiber towel or a t-shirt just avoid using a regular towel and then now i'm going to go in with some mousse this one is totally twisted by herbal essences raking that through very carefully i don't want to mess up the clumps that i just formed so i'm using praying hands squishing that in should be making an amazing squishy sound and really just getting that mousse in there you don't have to use three products. I like to because I live in a very humid climate where it's a constant battle with frizz. After this, I'm just going to plop for like 30 minutes. I take the plop out. Then I use my black orchid diffuser and I'm just hover diffusing over my whole head. And then I'm just going to get in and diffuse. I don't like to diffuse too much because the whole point of me going curly wavy is to not use a lot of heat on my hair but I'm just diffusing just to get all the drips out. I'm only diffusing till I'm about 60% dry just because uh, it's boring. I'm also using low heat and low speed. You don't want to use high speed because it's going to cause frizz. I can make an entire video on diffusing, so let me know if you want one. And then I'm going to root clip and just really let it dry into this crunchy cast so all my product is making my hair really crispy. You can see my root clips there. And it's really crunchy. That's what you want. Then I'm going to take the root clips out. And you'll see that it's still pretty crunchy. I'm going to go in with some black castor oil. This is from Heritage Store. And just go ahead and scrunch out the crunch. And I'm just carefully scrunching and breaking up that gel cast, that producty cast that formed to make my hair really touchable and really soft. So I'm liking this method. It looks more labor intensive than it is. It is actually a lot of fun to do. And I'm going to see how they hold up over the next few days. Let me know in the comments if you try it. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.